Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, we'll be going over how you can fix the 403 forbidden error in cPanel and what that actually is. So let's get right into it. And first, let me explain what everything is. So cPanel, as you probably already know, is an online uh, Linux based graphics user interface, which is used to pretty much make your uh, website making and maintenance a lot easier. Uh, for both the web page and the servers. Now, the 403 forbidden error is basically an issue with the actual permissions that your account has or the permissions that the option you're selecting requires so that it can work properly. Now, there are a few reasons in Apache why this might happen, and we'll go over them right now. As you can see, I'm using the official cPanel support article to help you with this, since this is by far the best explanation that I have found. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to look at this article and everything will be made perfectly clear. Now, as you can see, the 403 forbidden error is a response code from Apache when the action cannot be completed for security reasons. There are three main things uh, which are most common, which this causes, and it's the .ht access file rules, uh, inadequate permissions on a file or incorrect ownership of a file. Now, as you can see, here is a um, example of what that looks like. Uh, you can use the tail command in, a, in the Apache error log to track how that happened. As you can see, this person got the permission denied uh, for reason of the HT access file being, un be, being unable to be checked. Uh, now you need to ensure that it's read readable and all of that jazz right here. Uh, now, as you can see, yep, error indicates an issue with the access to the HD access file. Checking the reports, uh, there is a permission issue and you need to ensure that you have the correct permissions. If you check the file, you can see that the owner is an improper user, root instead of the cPanel user, and it has incorrect permissions. You can correct these permissions by doing the chmod command to change the permissions and the chown command to change the ownership. And one other common item that the 403 error is caused by is the HS HD access rules, such as options and indexes, and that pretty much just prevents the directory from being loaded, and there is no index file present, and this can be corrected by adding an index file uh, or removing the deny from all line from the HD access file. And that is pretty much all there is to it, to fixing this error. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.